Okay, folks, here we are with a nice qualitative question. No calculations, apparently. Um, have a look, and when you're ready to go, see the answer. Okay, in this question, we're being asked about the electromotive force and its definition. Now, this is one of these questions that um, I think on first glance, students think is nice and easy, but then they look at the options and they go, hold on, hold on a minute. The option I'm expecting is not in the list. What we are expecting here, the formal definition and definition you'll be used to, hopefully, from your lessons, is the electric motive force is the work done per unit charge as a charge as that unit charge makes its way round the circuit, obviously defined in a bit more scientific way as possible. Now, we've used there this equation, V equal to W over Q, work done per unit charge. Now, if you're looking at those answers, you cannot see any of, of those options which correspond to that, okay? And that's because this has been phrased in a slightly different way. So we're gonna actually have to use equations here. We're gonna have to use multiple equations, all right? Um, the way to get to the answer, well, there's a few ways, but I'll, st I'll stick with my equation. We've got work and we've got charge. Now I'm noticing in the questions, there's quite a lot of reference to current here. So one way you might be think, okay, how can I get current into this? Well, the way that we get current into our equation is to remember that Q is equal to IT, or I equal Q over T, another way of thinking about it. Current is the rate of flow of charge. That's another definition you should be aware of. And therefore, Q is equal to IT. Now, you'll notice there, if I substitute Q into the equation, I'm then going to get work over IT. Well, work over T, which is in red, is the power. Okay, and well, we then look at our definitions here, that matches with answer A. Okay, so here we've got a, an interesting example of a, a question which is qualitative in nature, however, requires the application of multiple equations to get to an answer which maybe seems uh, counterintuitive or maybe counter to what you've learned in the lesson, but it's a different way of looking at that same definition, which is the work done per unit charge. So a really good question there to te test your understanding of what these symbols represent and how we can manipulate equations.